Hey guys, it's Robin here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you would come back and watch another video with me. This is a little weird because this is the first time ever that I am using my iPad to film with and I hope it turns out okay. I don't know. I haven't ever done this before so we're going to guinea pig it together and I hope it turns out okay. It is kind of late. I'm trying to get a few videos filmed because I'm going to go home to Oklahoma tomorrow. Um, Tuesday. Today is Labor Day Monday. I'm going to go home Tuesday and spend a few days with my family. And I think, I think I'm going to bring Miss Lydia Isabel Jane back with me. And I am going to maybe attempt to potty train her because she turns two at the end of this year. And... So, yeah, if she's in a good mood, I'm going to bring her back with me. So, we'll wait and see how she is. Anyway, I have a Target 98% uh, dollar spot haul for you here. Then, I'm also going to have a Dollar Tree, a 99 cent only, and a small Joann's. So, I hope you guys will come back and watch those. Are you guys watching my plan with me's? Let me know in the comments below if you are catching those because I am a member of the Plan With Me design group. We post every Sunday um, and I'm considering if you guys like the Plan With Me's. Of course, the views are still a little low on those, but if you're liking them, I'm considering posting some of my other Plan With Me's other than just for the Plan With Me design group. So you guys let me know if you're interested in those. Anyway, this is a dollar spot, and let's get this underway. Scotty, you need to get down. We're not going outside right now. So, I had a strange experience outside earlier. Anyway, I felt like a man was, um, I don't know. He gets out of his car, and um, he didn't park in a normal parking spot, and it wasn't a car that I recognized. And he walked along the, um, he went up the sidewalk to the apartment building, closest to me and then he come down the bush line towards my apartments and the dog started barking at him and I stopped and was holding the dogs there and he turned around because I didn't want to get him behind me I don't know I just got a strange feeling from him anyway I didn't want him with my back to me and so I stopped and the dogs were barking and everything and he turns around and he goes back and then he walks the other direction and so the dogs and me are behind him and so we continued and he stops and he started coming back so we stopped again and Scotty was using the restroom and he went in the vestibule of the apartments uh, sent next to me and he went halfway up the stairs and then he stops as I started to take off again and he comes back down the stairs and he's coming towards me and so like I stopped the dogs again and he gets in his vehicle and he messes around in there for a minute, then he gets out again, and then he comes back towards the apartments next to me, and then he turns around and starts walking the direction the dogs and me were wanting to walk. And so I turned the dogs around and headed back towards my, to get closer to my apartment. And uh, I kind of kept turning around because I wanted to make sure I knew where he was. I didn't want him to just like, come up behind me all of a sudden and I don't know I just got a really weird vibe it's like 11 o'clock at night and it was just weird anyway um so I kept turning around and walking towards my apartment and then stopping and checking behind me and then all of a sudden he just disappeared his car didn't disappear just he disappeared so when I came through my vestibule I went past my apartment and came out on the other side and checked to make sure he wasn't lingering in those bushes and stuff and then I came back in my apartment and I haven't been outside since. And now Scotty wants to go outside. And I don't want to go back outside. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do a quick little nighttime bathroom break before we go to bed. And that's it. I think we're going to pretty much stay in the apartment till daylight. I just got a weird feeling. And sometimes it pays to listen to those weird feelings. So, enough of that. Four and a half minutes of just story time. And let's get this haul underway. So... The first thing I got was, I got a Halloween costume for my little Scotty, $3, and he's going to be a pumpkin, and we already tried them on him, so, um, 
I may post a couple of pictures at the end of this video just so you can see what they look like. But the hubs is in them, so I'll have to see. Did he have on his shirt? I don't know. Anyway, and then my little Kingston is going to be a little referee. It says rooferee. So that's Kingston's and um, Scotty's Halloween costumes. I don't know why. We're not going anywhere for Halloween. But I thought they were cute and they were $3 a piece. So they have a Wonder Woman costume if you have a little girl dog. Now I didn't see any larges. I only saw small and mediums. And these are both mediums. So I picked up a second one of these. I have hauled one already. Let me open it real fast so I can do a flip through. I should have already had this opened, but um, it's two, four, six, seven pages. Includes 386 stickers to accessorize your planner. They are $3. And you get two of each sheet except for the days of the weeks. So, open this and show you guys so you get two pages of this one and it does have silver foil so i hope you guys can it doesn't glare too much so there's some of that silver foil doesn't want to show up there's two of those pages and then this is the one of the days of the week and there's only one page of that and then you get two pages of this and it has things like appointment, um, important goals, payday, and then some flags down here. So you get two of those. And then the last page here, you get two of this also. And it has today, all of these are today's. And then these are your corner flag boxes. And then these say um, meeting, appointment, and birthday and they are the clear stickers so I got that these are hard to find so I was excited when I found it then um, let me try to keep the fall decor stuff all together so we can go over it all at once um, and the clearance stuff we'll keep it all together as well so this was clearance. I picked up some of these. They're just the folders. And these are actually five packs of file dividers. And I have been using these to make um, my tab dividers for in my sticker books. And I will show you guys those sticker books when I get them all completed. They're going to all be for my Etsy stickers. So I have my mini kits. And my large kits already placed in one. And my numbers. But I got some more. I'll show you in a minute. Some more notebooks and stuff. And I'm going to do my decorative functionals. And then just my decorative. So. But I was going to show you what I like about these dividers. And so... Each one of these, I will get two tab dividers out of, but I don't have to put anything on them because they're also colored in the back. So, and there's five of them here. So this will make 10 dividers for my little mini notebooks. So I have, and they are marked for a three ring binder if you just wanted to use them for their intended purpose. So I got two packs of that one. And then I got two packs of this one. And this one has, it's only a three pack, but I believe they're file folders instead of dividers. And so each one will give me four. So this will actually give me 12, where I only get 10 out of these. I get 12 out of these. So I got um, two of this design and two of this design. Then I picked up this, uh, is it, I don't know, toot twine, toot, toot, 
not. I can't say it, guys. Anyway, I picked up two deals of this twine. And I got this one, which is white with the gold flakes or cream with the gold flakes. And this one, which is brown with the gold flakes. But what I really like about these is when they're done, they're on wooden spools. And these are great to mount on wooden something and use them for hooks. So, yeah, I have two of those. I found some more wooden shapes. They're pumpkins. Um, use them for table scatter or whatever. So, they look like this right here. They're kind of a rose gold or a copper color. And I'm going to use them for table scatter. They could be used for other things, but I picked up two of those, a dollar a piece. Then I picked up for a dollar this little bucket. And I am going to put some washi here at the bottom and maybe put a little something up here. And I'm going to use this for a pencil. I'm going to put pencils in it. So it was a dollar. It is a coppery color. And they had copper, um, a silver color, a, a, like a gun pewter gray, whatever you want to call, color, um, a pumpkin color, and I'm not for sure what else. Okay, then I found the glitter washi that they have, and I think I got all the colors. I'm not positive, but I believe I got all the colors. And so... Um, I got, let's, let's take them out because you're not going to be able to see them. Oh, we're going to have to tear into each one of them or do they have a, seriously, I don't have my scissors. Okay, give me just a second and I'll get them all open. And then we'll, so there's a pumpkin color, a copper color. A gold, a rose gold, I think this one is different, this lighting in here is horrid. I'm not for sure if these two are different or not, they don't really look it. And then a what I call gunmetal silver. It's kind of a blackish. Okay, so. Sorry, guys. Here's these two. Now, see, they look different on camera. So, there's those two, which is the rose gold, and then whatever color this one is. Here is the gunmetal gray. The gold. And I ended up with two of the gold. The copper or the, it's kind of a brown, and then a pumpkin. Okay, then I also found just a couple of oddballs, and this one is beautiful green plaid. It'll go really well for fall. And then this one for Halloween is the little ghosts. And they also had the pumpkins, but I still have the pumpkins from last year. So, I didn't get those. Now, here's the duplicate of the pumpkin color. And then I found this one. It is the Scotch, and it was on clearance for $1.40. And it's just a pink and white striped. So, I got those. Then, I'm trying to keep everything kind of together. So, those clearance, clearance, clearance. Okay. So I'll do my clearance next because it's the easiest to get to. I have already hauled these. This is a two-pack of the file folders. They were $1. You get two pink and two gray. Or no, I'm sorry. One pink and one gray. And I would get eight uh, dividers out of this. But this was, they were 70% um, off. So this was $0.30. Cents. Then I got this which was normally $3, but they had already taken it out of the system. So it says, Live, Love, Teach, and it was from the teaching 
portion and so since they had already removed it from the system I got this for 30 cents even though it was three dollars it technically should have been 90 cents but I got it for 30 and then these also were out of the system and I got four of them they're just the little buckets with the chalkboard on them four of them and I got these for 10 cents a piece because they were also out of the system so go system <laughs> And then I found some of the notebooks, and I got two different designs on the clearance. These were normally $3, and I got three of these for $0.90. Cents. And then this one was normally $5, Work Hard, Dream Big, and it has the more leathery feel and the little protectors up here. Now, it doesn't have the band like this one has. But this one was $5, and so this one was $1.50, and I got two of it. So I got three of this one and two of this one, and they are for my Etsy stickers. So there's the second one of those. And my other notebooks. Let me get them out of the way. And for my Etsy stickers, I also picked up two more packs of these. And this is the only thing I believe I purchased besides this washi that was not from the dollar spot. And these are $3.99 each. They're the mini binder sheet protector, protectors, and you get 15 count in here for $3.99. So I got those. And now for my kind of farmhouse and a couple of Halloween decorations that I got from the Target dollar spot. So the first thing I got was this pumpkin. And it was $5, and I don't buy very many things that are $5 because I just have found stuff so much cheaper there that I just don't. But, I mean, it's a very good size. It doesn't say on here what size it is, but it's a very pretty ceramic pumpkin. Now, they did have it in a green, kind of a mint green, uh, kind of a dark olivey green and a pumpkin color but the white to me was cream color was the prettiest and that was the one I wanted and I'm gonna set it over there so it does not get broke because I have been very very much baby in it so um let me see what else I have that's kind of pumpkiny and I got this little board and it was three dollars it just says one count wooden sign and so it's like this and then to go with it i got for also three dollars this right here it's adhesive wooden shapes this is happy halloween trick or treat it has some pumpkins boo a spider and you can decorate this any way you want with this stuff so when i do that i will share it with you guys so that you know what it looks like and then other than this little set of hand towels, tea towels, two pieces. This one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then this one's just a checkered one. It was $3. I got that. Then I also got this one that says always be thankful. It's in the navy blue and the checkered. So I got those for $2 or $3 a piece. And then I got this Hello Fall for $3. This thankful sign with the leather right here to hang it on for $3. And this can be easily removed back here. It has the little picture tabs so you can remove it if you want to put something else in there. Although I want the sign. Then I picked up these two. They were $3 each. This is a chalkboard with the little leaf up here and the uh, kind of cloth. Um, I don't know what to call that. Kind of a linen type of handle here. And then I also picked up this for $3. And it has two sheets. One is gray and one is a kind of gold color. 
and it says make it your way cut off stickers and peel off the clear sheet and you put them in it says thankful and grateful um let's see thankful and grateful there's a pumpkin some leaves hello fall and i don't know what this says right here let's see if we can open it and see So this one says pumpkin spice and everything nice with the pumpkins and pumpkin hello fall thankful and grateful and then the leaves and then this side says autumn happy fall give thanks and thankful so I have these two sheets and then I got this piece of chalkboard so I could make it how I wanted and then I also picked up this little hanger for $3. Four little slats. It's made like this on the back with the twine hanger. It was $3 as well. Then the last couple of things I got was this recipe book holder. Has the little ledge here. Has a little deal back here which leaves it slanted so that your book will stay up. And it has the measuring equivalents. Now, they also had one like this that had this design, not in color, but this design cut out in it. But I thought for a recipe book, this would be better with the measuring equivalents. So I picked up this one. And then the very last thing I got was a table runner. And I am addicted to table runners. So it has, I hope you can see them there, some kind of coppery gold leaves there and it is kind of an olive color and it is a fabric table runner and it does not say yeah it is 50 inches long for three dollars and the leaves are on both ends so that was everything I got from my Target dollar spot so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul um a little rushed to put together this was from two targets so I went and looked for some I went to look for some fall decor and happily enough I found it so I was very excited about that I also got the dogs outfits I was excited about that and all of the glitter washi yep very excited about that and then the dollar the uh, stuff that was on clearance the notebooks I'm super excited about that I had went to a couple other stores to try to find some more, but I missed it by a day. They quit. They got rid of all the clearance on Friday, and I didn't go back until Saturday, so I missed. So anyway, yeah, thank you for coming back and watching another video with me. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the little bell off to the side so that you can be notified anytime that I post a new video. I'd love to have you and let's get to know each other be sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below and a thumbs up grandbabies at home Mima loves you and i'll be headed home tomorrow tomorrow is molly and redder's first day of school and baby reed is due in approximately four weeks so four to five so anyway it's getting close i We'll post a couple of pictures of the dogs at the end of this video so you guys can see what they look like. Um, and, yeah, come back and watch some more videos with me, guys. Bye.